Today, we're weighing in on a debate that is literally hot. Which heating system is better for your home, heat pump or gas furnace? It's a big investment that lasts a long time, so we're going to break down the pros and cons of both to help you make an informed decision. I'm Eric Guyton, Master HVAC Technician with Gettle Air Conditioning and Plumbing with over 15 years in the industry. My advice will hopefully save you time and money. Let's start with heat pumps. They use electricity as their energy source. Using the technology of refrigeration, in the summer, it transfers heat from inside your house to the outdoors, leaving crisp, cool air behind. And in the winter, transfers heat from outdoors to the inside of your house, leaving comfortable warmth for your home. That's the first pro. They're versatile. You only need one system for heating and cooling. They're also incredibly efficient in most temperatures. We'll talk more about that in a bit. You can often save additional money with federal and state incentives to reduce air pollution. They keep humidity more stable. If you struggle with dry air issues, a heat pump might be the good option for you. As for cons, if you live in a state with extreme cold, below 30 degrees in the winter, heat pumps may not be an efficient choice. Heat pumps are best in areas where winters are mild, thanks southern and coastal states. In cold temperatures, you may have to use alternate means of heating. The air produced isn't as warm as a gas furnace. Speaking of gas furnaces, their energy source is natural gas or propane. As for pros, they keep up with much harsher, colder conditions. They generally cost less upfront than heat pumps, as long as you have gas hookup in your neighborhood. They last a bit longer than heat pumps because they don't run all seasons. But remember, you'll have to have a separate air conditioning unit to go with your gas furnace. That's a good transition for cons for the gas furnace. They only provide heat, so you'll need a separate cooling system for your home in the warmer months. They cost more to operate and they're not as efficient since some of their heat they produce is lost in exhaust. They're not as environmental friendly as electric heat pumps. They produce carbon monoxide. You'll need a carbon monoxide detector and they tend to dry out the air. There's one more option to consider, dual fuel system for heating and cooling, the best of both worlds. For example, pairing a gas heater with a heat pump. With two heat sources, the system will gauge the outdoor temperature and determine the most efficient option to heat your home. As you make your decision, think about where you live, how each option works, efficiency and maintenance. Every house is different, and each situation requires a personalized solution. If you have any questions or need additional expertise, give us a call at Gettle or visit our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with more homeowner tips.